I happen to be Russ Parr. One of my favorite all-time players uh, is on the phone line right now. Okay, I'm making that part up <laughs> about Rick Doc Walker. Um, <laughs> Uh, Rick is a uh, former Washington football team and Cincinnati Bengals tight end. Host the Doc Walker podcast at patreon.com slash Doc Walker. Host the Fox 5 game time pregame show Sundays at 730. Rick, Doc Walker, good morning, sir. How are you? Russ, I'm so happy for you. <clears throat> I knew that uh, with the success of the Cowboys, it was just a matter of time before <laughs> you would remember that we had a relationship. Yeah, <laughs> I do understand, but it's okay that you, you wear the burgundy and gold occasionally, but uh, it's all good. All right, listen, on a serious note, are you yep. surprised at what was found out about uh, John Gruden and his comments? Is that an attitude that is kind of like popular amongst coaches and ownership? And are you willing to admit that? No, I wasn't surprised. I'm never surprised about anything the human beings uh, do John is John. We didn't know that side of him, but that side of him existed. He's a leader, and it's unacceptable. It uh, doesn't mean that he hasn't been good to some people and some African Americans. Doesn't mean that it, it depicts who he is, but he did it. And if you make mm -hmm. a got a hundred million dollar deal, you in, you in charge of being a leader, you have failed miserably. Even though it was ten years bad, he was at ESPN. It doesn't matter. It matters that he was exposed for it, and he got his forty million, and he'll go into sunset until someone else hires him, and they will, and they bring him back. Wow! Out of six hundred and fifty thousand emails, six hundred and fifty thousand emails, there's got to be some more incriminating stuff on other people. Do you think those should be made oh, public? Yeah. Well, I think they will be. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you know, since even though you're not a millennial, you understand that if you type it, it, it sticks. You don't get to say you didn't say it. He said it. And he's not the only person. The problem with it is that in that whole faction of NFL ownership, based on the amount of players of color that participate, they're not represented in ownership. They're not represented in, in coaching. They're not represented in leadership positions. That's what's exposed. And I hope mm -hmm. that the people understand that. Um, you worked within that organization. Yes. All right. And if you don't want to answer this question, Doc, you don't have to. And I don't Come know. Insult me, right? But seriously, All right, I'm, 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 I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hit you. Then I'm gonna hit you. <clears throat> yeah, you sound Did like you know, know about what's being alleged about topest pitchers of Washington football team cheerleaders F and that news. culture around the office. Uh, did you know about it? No, I heard about it when it came out. When the reports came out, I never went to a function. I never saw. Any of that. But I heard about it once it came out. This is old news. This is all had been discovered. This is what was, hap it was happening. They were investigating all these reports. Look at the flip over. Look at the game, the, the shell game they're playing, moving all the parts around, doing all these different things. Hey, dude, you, can't, you cannot get an old route with just air spray and perfume. It's still there. You know, all these mm -hmm. culture changes. They brought a new guy. We don't change the culture. It's still there. And then not a product. It's suffering as well. So you can't fake yourself out. You are who you are until you change. Mm. You knew Bruce Allen, right? The general manager, correct? Yes, very well. Very well. Did he ever give you any inkling that he may have harbored some racial um, issues with people of color? No, not to me. <clears throat> not to me. I mean, not, mm. none of these people are bold enough to say or call you the N-word to your face. Mm -hmm. When you hear about it, uh, I've been black my whole life. So mm -hmm. these discoveries never surprise me. It disappoints. You go, well, okay, but not like we hung out. We weren't boys. Right. You know, I was a part and of And how dumb thing. do you have to do, like, to write it in an email? I mean, you just. Well, no, no, no. Just no, may no not right. be... You might say dumb. No, that's yeah. privilege. Oops, okay. That's privilege. You do what you want to do. You hire who you want to hire. Don't give a mm -hmm. damn what people come out. That's. The whole reflection of privilege. Mm. They may not even feel like they were doing anything wrong. This is their world. They get hired. They do what they want to do. They bring their boys in. Their whole crew gets in. You get out. They bring wow. themselves in. No, I'm not surprised by any of it. It's a reflection of the country. If they're doing it on Pennsylvania Avenue, you think they're not doing it at the park? Well, mm. 
I got you. Rick Doc Walker, former Washington football team, Cincinnati Bengals uh, tight end. Uh, let me see. Out of 17 passes thrown to him, he dropped 16 of them in, and in throughout his career. Me back on. I bet you won't have me back on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, catch me if you can. I doubt it. Anyway, Rick, <laughs> yeah. thank you so much, bro. Great job. All right, great man. Job. Hey, we got mad love for you, Rick. Absolutely. Rick Doc Walker. All right, we'll be right back, y'all. Hang out.